he Indeed. To, huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that because I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube, and for some reason I had a reject an erection. <laughs> The latest press conference between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson was nothing short of wild, with both fighters making bizarre statements. The boxing world is buzzing with skepticism, viewing the interactions between Paul and Tyson as a farce, casting doubt on whether this fight will actually take place. Conor McGregor has also voiced his disappointment regarding the potential matchup. Your thoughts on this uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight? Oh geez, I thought it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest, I've not, I, the interest is a low one, I don't know, I don't really. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury expressed his enthusiasm for seeing Iron Mike and Jake Paul face off in the ring. Fantastic for boxing. Um, you know, you got a legend in Mike Tyson, you've got a, a YouTube boxer who's come into the game and blew it up and he's got millions of followers. Tyson Fury believes this fight is great for boxing, and interesting reactions have poured in from experts following the latest press conference. So, what's the latest update on the fight between these two? Stick around and watch as we find out in this video. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson recently held a press conference where they discussed their upcoming fight scheduled for July 20th. The two had been busy generating hype, and the latest press conference provided an opportunity for both fighters to address doubts about the bout. Many suspect the fight might be scripted, but Mike Tyson addressed these concerns in his latest interview with the press. He emphasized that the fight is not scripted and dismissed the idea that the outcome was predetermined for Paul's benefit, urging people to see for themselves. Tyson mentioned that he initially supported Paul, but now intends to finish it in the ring. Find your seat. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. Jake Paul also addressed claims that the fight was scripted by mocking the intelligence of those who believe such rumors, emphasizing that scripting a fight would be a federal crime. He expressed confidence in his ability to defeat Tyson, claiming he would knock out the former champion and prove his critics wrong. When asked about the potential risk of injury fighting a younger opponent, Tyson downplayed the threat posed by Paul, criticizing his fitness and calling him overweight. He compared the situation to his previous fights and expressed confidence in his ability to end the bout quickly, as he had done in the past. Tyson was also asked about his stamina and whether he could last the full eight rounds. He dismissed doubts about his endurance, pointing out that Paul had not knocked out any significant opponents and questioning how Paul could possibly knock him out. Tyson's confidence remained unshaken, suggesting that Paul's previous victories were not against fighters of his caliber. Jake Paul, on the other hand, acknowledged Tyson's criticisms but promised to prove his strength and power on July 20th. He vowed to be the one to put Tyson to sleep, marking a significant milestone in his career. In the end, Tyson reassured fans and viewers that they would witness a genuine and intense fight. He expressed his readiness and eagerness to step into the ring, ensuring that the fight would deliver on the excitement and anticipation built around it. The press conference also had a few moments of drama. Tyson became visibly agitated when an interviewer questioned his age and suitability for the match, pointing out the significant age difference between the 58-year-old Tyson and the much younger Paul. Initially, Tyson seemed to brush off the criticisms, challenging the interviewer to name people who doubted the legitimacy of the fight due to his age. However, the situation escalated when another interviewer directly addressed Jake Paul questioning when he would fight a serious contender in his weight class instead of engaging in what the interviewer called gimmick fights. Paul responded to the comment indirectly, referring to Tyson as a gimmick, which Tyson took as an affront. It's been four years in this sport and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of the sport. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship and I will be shutting you the fuck up and making... Jake Paul responded to the question by defending his career and the legitimacy of the fight. He stated that he had accomplished more in his short time in the sport than many others had in their entire careers. Paul confidently asserted that he would eventually fight for a world championship, aiming to silence critics like the interviewer who doubted his boxing credentials. The press conference continued with other questions, but Tyson's mood remained tense. When asked what made him confident he could win the fight, Tyson responded succinctly, refusing to entertain the notion of losing to Paul. 
his determination and confidence highlighted his readiness to prove his doubters wrong in the ring. There were also some bizarre moments during the interview, where Paul and Iron Mike made explicit comments about each other. Paul made a surprising and controversial statement, saying that he wanted to kiss Mike Tyson on the lips. I kiss Mike's big juicy lips. You want to kiss me? <laughs> This unexpected remark added an unusual twist to the already tense atmosphere. Paul's comment seemed likely intended to provoke a reaction and perhaps lighten the mood, but it also highlighted the unconventional nature of his persona and approach to the sport. In response, Mike Tyson made an equally shocking and controversial statement. Known for his candid and often provocative remarks, Tyson said that he got an erection from watching Jake Paul dance at 16 years old. This comment was unexpected and added a layer of discomfort to the proceedings. Tyson's statement, while perhaps intended to be humorous or shocking, crossed a line and could be seen as highly inappropriate. These exchanges underscored the unpredictable and controversial nature of the event. Paul's attempt to be provocative by suggesting he wanted to kiss Tyson on the lips, and Tyson's equally provocative and inappropriate response, added to the spectacle of the press conference. It highlighted the blend of sports and entertainment that has come to define many high-profile boxing matches involving celebrity fighters. The press conference, filled with such controversial remarks, sets the stage for a highly anticipated and dramatic fight. It showcases the personalities of both fighters, with Paul's brash and unorthodox approach clashing with Tyson's candid and unpredictable demeanor. While these interactions are controversial, they serve to heighten interest and anticipation for the upcoming bout promising a spectacle both in and out of the ring. However, while fans may have changed their views on this fight after the press conference, the same cannot be said about the experts. Many have expressed their disgust with this fight taking place. Boxing promoter Oscar De La Hoya, a boxing purist, admitted he hadn't been involved in these types of celebrity or crossover fights before. He acknowledged Jake Paul's desire to be taken seriously in the sport urging him to take boxing seriously if he truly aims to become a world champion. Yeah, exactly. time we didn't know. Um, <laughs> no, look, 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 this is what I feel. Jake Paul. You De La Hoya stressed that while Paul stands to gain significant popularity and financial rewards from fighting Tyson, this path would not lead him to a legitimate world title. He argued that Paul needs to face the right opponents and follow the correct path if he wants to earn a world championship. In his view, fighting Tyson, despite the spectacle and financial gain, does not contribute to achieving that goal. He expressed his respect and admiration for Tyson, pointing out that the match is more about entertainment than advancing Paul's boxing career. De La Hoya voiced concern about Tyson's legacy given the risk involved in facing a much younger and stronger opponent like Paul. He acknowledged Tyson's experience and toughness, suggesting that Tyson could still hold his own in the ring for several rounds. However, De La Hoya's primary concern was the potential impact on Tyson's legacy if Paul managed to knock him out or win the fight. He feared it would be a disappointing outcome for Tyson, who has been a significant figure in boxing. De La Hoya was uncertain about the broader implications for the sport, acknowledging that while the fight would attract significant attention, it might not necessarily be beneficial for boxing's image. Former MMA fighter and actor Michael J. White expressed a clear preference for Tyson to win. White, who portrayed Tyson in a film, believes Tyson's experience and physicality will be too much for Paul to handle. I got Mike Tyson. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't see how, how Jake pulls this off. Um, White dismissed the notion that Paul could realistically challenge Tyson, citing Tyson's formidable body punching as a key factor. He pointed out that Jake Paul lacks the size and reach advantages that have historically troubled Tyson. Fighters who succeeded against Tyson were often larger with a longer reach, which Paul does not possess. Tyson's ability to land powerful body shots, less dependent on the opponent's size or reach, is a significant advantage. White was surprised to learn that Jake Paul weighed around 200 loops, making the size difference even more pronounced. He reiterated his belief that Tyson, despite being 57 years old, still has the power and skill to dominate a younger, 
less experienced fighter like Paul. White also highlighted Tyson's ability to go multiple rounds, referencing his fight with Roy Jones Jr., where Tyson's endurance was evident despite his age. Addressing Tyson's legacy, White expressed concern about the potential implications of a loss to Paul, but remained confident that Tyson's skills and experience would prevail. He acknowledged that while the fight would attract significant attention and be a financial success, the sporting merit of the matchup was questionable. White also touched on the psychological aspect of fighting Tyson, noting that many opponents have been intimidated by Tyson's fearsome reputation. He speculated that Paul might experience similar fear, which could impact his performance. White's personal insights into the mindset required to face Tyson suggested that overcoming this fear would be crucial for Paul. There was plenty of drama and revelation at the recent press conference between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, but what do you think about this matchup? Are you eager to see this fight happen? Let us know in the comments.